Hello everyone. With the patch that came out on 25th October 2015, Warzone Commander has been changed from whenever you summon a minion with 3 or less attack, give it charge, to your charged minions have plus 1 attack. And you probably also knew that way back in closed beta, Warzone Commander read your other minions have charge. But what you probably didn't know is that Warzone Commander has had 5 different implementations over the course of Hearthstone, despite only having 3 different card techs. How can this be? Let's go through the history of this controversial card. During the closed beta of Hearthstone until January 2014, Warzone Commander was implemented as an aura that unconditionally granted charge to your other minions. This was incredibly broken, leading to a Molten Giant OTK Warrior that could deal over 30 damage from an empty board by playing Warzone Commander, Molten Giant, and attacking, bouncing it back to your hand, playing it again, attacking again, and so on. This was by far the strongest iteration of the card. After January 2014, and until the release of Goblins vs Gnomes, Warzone Commander was implemented as a pre-summon trigger, granting charge to minions played, summoned, or transformed into before they actually entered play. This led to some strange, clearly buggy interactions. If you cast Hex on a Warzone Commander, the Toad it creates would get charged from the Warzone Commander before being transformed. In addition, if you played a Faceless Manipulator on a minion buffed above 3 attack, it would gain charge because Warzone Commander triggered before the copy took place. Two other minions are still pre-summoned triggers in current Hearthstone, Cobalt Guardian and Murloc Tidecaller, and still display this bug. For example, if you play a Faceless Manipulator targeting a Cobalt Guardian without Divine Shield, Cobalt Guardian triggers and gains Divine Shield before the copy effect occurs, and now both will have Divine Shield. After the release of Goblins vs Gnomes, and until the release of Blackrock Mountain, Wilson Commander was changed again. Now it was a trigger in the secret activation phase. And where is this phase? Recall that when you play a minion, first the minion enters play, then we resolve these phases in order. The on play phase, the battle cry phase, the secret activation phase, and the after summon phase. However, when a minion is summoned, the minion enters play inside of a larger phase, so aura updates and death checking are currently suspended, and all the phases are skipped except for the after summon phase, because the other three phases are related to playing a minion. Because of the new implementation, Warzone Commander now only triggered when a minion was played, and it also triggered after auras started affecting the played minion, and after the battle cry took place. It's clear that while trying to fix the previous weirdness with Warzone Commander, they made a mistake and only made it even worse. After the release of Blackrock Mountain, and until the 25th of October 2015, Warzone Commander was finally working as intended. The change they made was that Warzone Commander now triggered in the after summon phase, not the secret activation phase. Once again, Warzone Commander was able to trigger on summoned minions, just in time to be able to interact with Grim Patron. Let's take a look at the behaviour of the BRM edition of Warzone Commander. First off, we know that death is not checked for at the moment a minion has zero health, it remains in play. This meant that a Warzone Commander at zero health could still grant charge to Grim Patrons spawned by the same area of effect damage. Because Warzone Commander triggered in a phase later in the battle cry phase, if the consequences of the battle cry put a Warzone Commander under your control, it will trigger and grant the played minion charge. In this example, we have an Elven Archer killing a Death Lord, summoning a Warzone Commander, which grants the Elven Archer charge. Conversely, if the battle cry removes the Warzone Commander from your control, it cannot grant the played minion charge anymore. Because Warzone Commander takes into account the effects of auras due to its timing, a played Lightspawn will not gain charge from Warzone Commander since it has 5 attack. However, if you summon a Lightspawn, the after summon phase of the Lightspawn is inside of a larger phase, therefore auras have not updated yet. Warzone Commander will see a 0-5 and Granite Charge. Warzone Commander's Granite Charge was permanent, even a temporary charge was added to and taken away from the minion. Here we demonstrate this with South Sea Deckhand, which has temporary charge while you have a weapon equipped. Regardless of order of play, if it also gained permanent charge from Warzone Commander, destroying the weapon will still leave it with its permanent charge. Finally, Warzone Commander's condition of 3 or less attack was a trigger condition. To explore this, let's equip Sword of Justice, then play a Warzone Commander. Both of these triggered in the after summon phase, so when you play a 3 attack minion, they both queue in that order. First Sword of Justice, buffing the 3 attack minion to 4 attack, then Warzone Commander, which now checks its trigger condition, and decides not to activate. If they were played the other way around, both would have triggered in the other order. So, here we are now. Warzone Commander is now an aura once again, granting plus one attack to minions with charge. Useless for deck building? Useless in the arena. But is it useless for science too? 
maybe. The idea of a conditional aura is interesting, because this condition can enter and leave the game, using Tundra Rhino and South Sea Deckhand. Is it possible to trick the conditional aura into not applying during a given aura update, delaying the gaining or losing a plus one attack? The problem is that testing this requires class cards from three different classes, so it's not easy. For example, if you attack with a 3 health South Sea Deckhand into an enemy explosive trap, and also have a 1 health Tyrion Forging and a 3 health Warson Commander, the following happens. During the combat preparation phase, Explosive Trap cues and triggers, all 3 minions taking 2 damage. Between phases, Tyrion Forging is found to be at 0 or less health during the death creation step, so he dies and we proceed to a death phase where we equip a 5-3 Ashbringer. Then we proceed to the combat phase where the actual attack occurs. Between these two phases, perhaps if Warzone Commander tries to update before South Sea Deckhand, then the minion will gain charge but not plus one attack. But they could just have easily coded a priority for Warzone Commander that ensures he always updates last on a given minion. If this test gets performed, I'll link it as an annotation here. So, there you have it. Here is where Warzone Commander will remain for the foreseeable future. Not as a powerful card, but as a curious relic of the past. A card with a long, complex history that helps us see the mechanics behind the game. I don't expect Warzone Commander to ever be changed again, but her legacy will not be forgotten. Thanks for watching.